हाई एवरी वन दिस बैक अगेन विद येट नदर अमेजिंग वीडियो तो आज की वीडियो में हमारे साथ होने वाले हैं आर्यन नायक इनसे हम डिस्कस कर रहे होंगे इनकी जर्नी ऑफ गेटिंग टू अमेजिंग ऑफर्स फ्रॉम कंपनीज लाइक बुकिंग डॉट कॉम इन मैं एंड एमेजॉन लंडन सो बोथ दीज ऑफर्स ही हेज गॉट ऑफ कैंपस एंड विल डिस्कस विद हिम द इंटायर प्रोसेस हाउ डिड ही अप्लाई फॉर दीज अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड हाउ ही फाइनली ग्रैप दम वॉट वॉज द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस वॉट ऑल थिंग्स यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड इफ यू आर ऑल्सो प्रिपेरिंग टू go for these roles overseas so starting this conversation with a brief introduction of aryan hi everybody i'm aryan nayak uh, i'm currently pursuing computer engineering at thadamu chani engineering college in mumbai i have office from booking.com uk and amazon uk uh, i'm really looking forward to this interaction with arsh great 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 so uh aryan like uh, i found your profile really very interesting you have done a lot of things we will come to everything but uh, first thing the most important thing of the this podcast that everybody want to hear out is your offers about your offers like first thing we will talk about both these offers firstly talking about booking.com so how did you apply for the same because generally people struggle on uh, they they're not getting test links or they they're not able to uh, get to the recruiter so what was your strategy what was your approach on grabbing these off campus opportunities abroad and how did you apply for booking.com particularly how did you get the test link and how was the process thereafter sure uh, so surprisingly for booking.com i did not have a referral uh, i directly applied on their website and you know i got a test link just like after two weeks uh so the test consisted of uh, like two lead code medium type questions and one was a system design question where i had to uh, draw a system and uh, make some uh, write some data models for that uh following that i had a hr screening round so i cleared the online test and i had an hr screening round where the hr uh, asked me a few questions about my motivation to apply and join booking um as well as she you know asked uh, brief me about the whole process of booking Okay. Uh, I was selected. Yeah, after that, I was selected for that. Uh, like there was an invitation which was being sent to me uh, for assessment day. So at assessment day, it was like three face-to-face interviews that I had, and following that, I had a group discussion. Um, so these interviews uh, specifically were uh, like um, ba- based on the values of Booking. dot com. plus uh, computer science fundamental and related to my resume so nothing uh, no dsa required over there the dsa was only required for the online test so in these uh, interview after these interviews there was a group discussion round where i was given like a problem statement uh, with uh, the other people who were involved in the assessment day and we have to solve that problem and give them the proposed solution Okay. um yeah and that was the whole process after that uh, you know i after two weeks i got a offer and i got a call that you know uh, that i've got an offer okay okay so when you mentioned that like uh, the dsa part was covered in the first online assessment part only and after that in the uh, interview rounds majorly it was based upon booking.com's values cultures along with that cs fundamentals if i talk about cs fundamentals if, you, if i want to break down those cs fundamentals so what all things uh, do you think should be should one prepare if you're preparing for such rounds for cs fundamentals so uh, it was mainly uh, about software engineering specifically uh, like sdlc cycles and all of those things uh, some parts of uh, os was also covered in my interviews but uh, yeah it was mainly around mostly software engineering is the main uh, cs fundamental which was asked in these interviews okay and after that you mentioned that there was a group uh, round in which you were working upon a problem statement and you had to give a solution so was that solution to be presented as an individual or was that of solution presented on the behalf of a complete group no oh, yeah complete group we had given like they had given a few minutes to discuss around 10 minutes to discuss the problem statement and come up with a solution and yes it was uh, like complete group we had to give a, a solution for that so was that kind of like you'll have you have to code something and you'll have to present that coding solution or was that just an uh on the basis of an idea or something it was based on an idea but we had to like solidify that idea so we presented a ppt like we could prepare a ppt in 10 mm-hmm. minutes like quickly we jotted down the points that we, that were you know uh, according to our solution that we had prepared so so that you know we it, it seems some uh, idea like it seems that we have uh, like a proper solution that's why we pre- prepared like a, a small ppt in 10 minutes 
great 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 so that was quite unique as compared to what generally the process of a software engineer uh, hiring is so that that's totally awesome we have covered about booking.com entirely and uh, congratulations once again for that amazing offer next moving on to the process of amazon london so if i talk about amazon london so what all things were required or how did you apply for amazon london how do you get the call initial call and uh, what was there in the online rounds and then in the interviews yeah sure uh so amazon london like i prep uh, i applied directly on the website for this also i did not take a referral i directly applied on the website just like a hit or a miss and uh, i got a link i had applied in september i guess and i got a link like just two weeks after that uh i gave the online test so first was a coding test like it had coding debugging mm -hmm. and like behavioral question like generic uh, amazon test how they are in india as uh, like india and europe i think both of them have the mm -hmm. same generic uh, online test yeah uh, then uh, uh, yeah after that there was like a, a simulation based round which is i think specific to europe uh, and uk so they uh, they basically simulate the whole sd uh, like a day uh, where you get messages from your manager and you are uh, like you have thrown situations uh, where you have to like there are multiple choices where you have to you know pick up the situ like what will be your reaction or what will be your solution to the you know uh, problems which has been thrown at a daily like you'll have your co-worker messaging you and stuff like that okay and after yeah after that i was ghosted like for one month or like more than that uh, i did not hear uh, like two months mostly two months uh, i did not hear from them uh, and suddenly one day they messaged me uh, that, you know, you have your interviews next week and give me like some availabilities. So I gave them availabilities and uh, like it was three rounds face to face and all of them back to back. Okay. Um, yeah. So if I talk about the interview round, so what was focused upon these tech interviews in Amazon? So these uh, tech interviews, like uh, three interviews were there. So all of these interviews were of the same, uh, like first half was leadership principle. And then the second half was uh, coding. So first half, uh, they asked me about uh, like different behavioral questions related to the leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, like I had three rounds. So in those three rounds, uh, like two rounds i had like try based questions okay and one round i had like a uh, hash map string manipulation questions uh, i would rate the questions at like as like uh, lead code medium uh, and hard mm -hmm. uh, like if you if you see the contest on lead code mm -hmm. so i can rank them as a score of 5 okay. uh, like the, yeah the third question in the contest so mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, like quite quite easy to understand uh, and then i implemented that uh, like try and uh, hash map based questions both of them uh, and i was able to complete and i was able to solve them properly and after that like after two weeks i was able to uh, like i was i got a call that you know we have to uh, you know discuss about the uh, your interview process mm -hmm. and they called me and uh, they said that you got the offer मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट लिस्टेड होंगे वो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डोमेन में कुछ यूनिक प्रोजेक्ट है जो हमारे रिज्यूमे को स्टैंड आउट करेंगे उस पीडीएफ में प्रोजेक्ट्स के स्टेप्स लिखे होंगे कि किस टाइप से तुम्हें वो वाले प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाने हैं एंड वंस यू मेक दोज प्रोजेक्ट्स यू कैन पुट देम इन योर रिज्यूम एंड योर रिज्यूम विल शाइन आउट आल्सो तुम्हें आइडिया लग जाएगा कि यार डेवलपमेंट कैसे अच्छे से करना है तो दट पी डी एफ इज कम्प्लीटली अवेलेबल टू यू फॉर फ्री इसके अलावा यार अगर तुम डेडिकेटेडली डेवलपमेंट सीखना चाहते हो तो क्राइड ऑट डू से सीख सकते हो दे हैव द डेडिकेटेड प्रोग्राम्स और प्लेसमेंट इनके दो काफी फेमस प्रोग्राम हैं जिनका नाम है बैक एंड डेवलपर प्रोग्राम एंड फुल स्टैक डेवलपर प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो दे हैव वन फेलोशिप इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट वो नाइन मंथ्स की होती है ऊपर वाले बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम सिक्स सिक्स मंथ्स के होते हैं इसमें बहुत सारी टेक्नोलॉजी सीख रहे होगे जैसे तुम एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट अलॉन्ग विद दैट फेलोशिप में तुम सीख रहे होगे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर को आर्थम सिस्टम डिजाइन तो ये वाली अपॉर्चुनिटी को तुम ग्रैप कर सकते हो ऑल्सो अगर तुम ट्राई आउट करना चाहते हो तो सेवन डेज का फ्री ट्रायल तुम्हें मिल जाएगा अगर तुम इनरोल करते हो एक बार चेक कर सकते हो कैसा लग रहा है एंड सेवन डेज में तुम काफी सारी चीजें सीख भी सकते हो नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक मिल जाएगा फॉर फ्री रिसोर्सेज ऑल्सो फॉर फ्री पी डी एफ ऑल्सो जाके चेक कर सकते हो एंड अपने प्रोजेक्ट्स बना सकते हो
Okay, great, great, great. So both these processes have been great. Uh, I would like to mention here that apart from these two uh, offers, uh, RN also has offers in India from multiple different companies. We would not talk about those right now, uh, seeing the paucity of time, but we'll talk about his preparation journey, how he was able to land these offer was, his, was that like he was, uh, he started his preparation from the very first year. What was the things, what all things you can learn from his journey that would like to highlight more upon. So, uh, would like to, would like RN to share more upon his preparation journey. What all schedules he followed, which all platforms he followed, how he started to core and how things went on. Sure. Um, so I started coding when lockdown happened. Uh, you know, before that I had no, uh, a background in coding. Mm -hmm. uh, I just did my college subjects. That's it. Uh, after that, like I had, I had maintained a CGPA, like an, uh, like a good CGPA 9.6. And then after that, uh, when lockdown happened, I, you know, got a, a bit awareness about how, you know, competitive programming is there and web development, all of that stuff is there. So I started out with web development initially. And it, parallelly, I was also, you know, fascinated about uh, uh, de like lead code, uh, how people used to solve problems and how contests were held. So I, so I was very curious, like I wanted to solve it, but initially I was not able to solve like, you know, problems uh, there and I was very demotivated. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I thought of like clearing out my fundamentals first. So I took the online resources we have like GFG, web coding mm -hmm. and a lot of other uh, so I used to do, uh, uh, like I used to come, like I used to watch videos of that initially. And after that, you know, I cleared my fundamentals and, and then I moved to, uh, solving problems. Um, uh, so in this, like when, when I was solving problems, I figured out that I had a lot of, you know, knowledge gaps that I have to cover up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I also figured that interviewing is not about just solving problems. You have to also convey your thought process to the interviewer. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is like very important because people just go in and just type out the code and think that, you know, they have cleared the interview. No, mm -hmm. it's not like that. You have to make sure that the interviewer understand your thought process. Mm -hmm. So for that, I used, like, I prepared a YouTube channel. Uh, where mm -hmm. I used to post videos every day, uh, like of me solving problems and me trying to understand, me trying to explain those problems. So I tried out this because uh, I had read this Finman uh, technique. Fin Richard Finman is a famous mm -hmm. physicist. Uh, he he used to say that if you cannot explain uh, a concept to a five year old, then you cannot, you do not understand yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah i used to uh, post videos about that so i in that process i was able to even communicate better uh, my communication skills were getting better and the second thing was that i was understanding where are my knowledge gap and i was able to learn new things in that process uh if you if you talk like if you see my lead code uh, like heat map it's all you know 365 days green uh, mm -hmm. that was the level of consistency that i had because i never knew that i will get these many offers or even opportunities because being from a tier 3 college i you no, know, I, it was a hit or a miss. I, I was applying, I got rejected to, from so many places initially, and it was demotivating, but I kept on going. I had my consistency in place. I was coding every day, so every single day of the lockdown. I kept on you know coding, uh, uh, throughout the process. I think what was the main, uh, you know, uh, motivation for me is that I, if I stick through like for a long period of time, then I will eventually be able to break through one day so mm -hmm. all those people like all those people who are you know facing rejections right now or facing you know hardships that they are not able to solve problems just stick through that because eventually you will be able to break through um yeah so mainly if i brief about like how i was able to do it was mainly because of my consistency and incessant you know desire just to uh, get through Great. Any, any particular resources that you would like to suggest to some, uh, to people for studying these computer science fundamentals or data structure algorithms, particularly. Yeah. So, uh, computer science fundamental, I specifically prepared from, uh, there are PDFs on interview bit that mm -hmm. I downloaded. Uh, so I prepared mainly from there and as well as, uh, a few GFG, like top 50 questions were there. Mm -hmm. I prepared from that. Uh, I used to also watch videos about few concepts where I was not able to understand, for example, OS, uh, mm -hmm. I was a few concepts were there. I was not able to understand. So I used to watch videos online, YouTube, uh, DSA, I think, uh, I think it's mainly about, uh, like you can learn a lot of 
things uh, because there's a lot of things to learn and a lot of problems to do, right? There are yeah, 2,000, yeah. 2,000 problems out there. You can't solve all of them. But you know that there are like limited data structures, like there are like 10 mm. data structures, 10 algorithms. So around 20 that you need to, to 20 topics that you need to cover. Mm-hmm. So I would say that you start with some, like you should prepare, like, uh, for example, in, if I'm preparing link lists, trees, graphs, so prepare them like, uh, like one by one, each topic. And uh, like, after you covered, like most of them, then you understand what are your, you know, uh, where are you fa- facing problems? For example, I'm, I'm weak at time programming. So there, there, there are, there are, you know, opportunities for me to learn more. So I'll mm-hmm. go and find out resources and I'll try to fill that knowledge gaps. So that was my strategy that I like went through all the data structures. I, I saw like, you know, a few problems for each one of them. And then after that, I uh, focused on my uh, pain areas. Like what, what are the things that I'm not able to do? Got it. Got so mainly it. if I, if I, if I also tell you, like, there are a lot of people who get confused on which platform to follow, right? Mm-hmm. Like there are so many platforms, Yeah. Um, but I think stick through one and just give your, like, give your best to one platform and it will all work out because people just jump from one because some, some people would do code forces easy. Then they would yeah. jump to lead code. Then they will also yeah. do easy problems over there. It's like, like it, it is jumping around. Then they will move to code chef. So this is like jumping around from one, you know, uh, platform to other. I think pick up one platform and give your best on that platform. Great. Thank you so much, Aaron, for joining in, for sharing your experience. I believe this would help a lot of people in their journey. They'll be motivated enough. Your consistency is what they uh, would take as a motivation. Thank you so much once again for coming here and sharing your journey. Wishing you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much, Ash.